Hello, I'm Trompi Diran, and I'm the technical manager at Molex for the South Saharan Africa region. In this video, we are going to have a look at the termination process for the field terminated connector, better known as a MPTL connector. With this, you can connect directly into a building device, such as a Wi-Fi or a camera, and still have your site warranted for 25 years. When you want to terminate your MPTL connector, you firstly need to have a cable cutter, you need to have a cable stripper, your cable, and most importantly, your MPTL connector. Within your MPTL package, you will find the strain relief boot, the physical connector itself, the wiring cap with the color schematic, and your cable tie. We are going to use the CAT 6A shielded cable. Your boot has been designed for CAT 5E, CAT 6 and CAT 6A cable. So therefore, you must cut off the end of your boot to fit the outside diameter of your cable. Firstly, you need to cut off 30 millimeter of cable jacket. Only turn around once. You can take it off. Make sure you never cut in too deep into your cable to cut off your foil and drain wire. After you have removed the cable jacket, you will see that all the pairs have foil around it and you have a drain wire. Now what you need to do now, you can leave one foil on a pair with the drain wire and you can remove the other pairs foil you can remove it from the pairs and cut it off now you'll see i have removed three of the foils on the pairs i have removed i have the one foil i have left and the drain wire now you make it nice and straight now with the shiny side on the outside now you need to spiral it down your cable like this doesn't matter if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise when you spiral down your drain wire it must just go in the opposite direction down the cable on top of the foil to hold it in place now if you look at a wiring cap you will see and on the color schematic that is a arrow in the front and the arrow in the back so we are going to use a b spec so what we're going to do this arrow in front means the cable must be on the bottom coming out in the front so you will slide it from the back on the bottom you will slide your cables through now you will see i have fanned out my cables and split it i have the bottom ones and the ones that will be on top so the bottom ones i cut at an angle so that it can go easily through the wiring cap like that and now I just go and clip in the cable on the top so that it's it works much better when you just clip it in on top like this There you go and then you need to take your precision cutter and cut it off flush like there's the top one and then the ones at the bottom you will have it flush now i have done this it has been cut off flush now you can remove your color schematic you can remove that you open your connector, you will see there's a cover stopper in there. Take out the cover stopper. Take your wiring block, turn it around like this. And you go in, put it in there. Just press down a bit on the wiring block. So like that. Then you close your lid, put it down. And you just press hard. There was a click sound. When you hear the click sound, 
you'll see that has been properly clipped on both sides. Now, if you made a mistake, you can re-terminate this connector. You just take a screwdriver, loosen it up there, and on the other side, you open it up and you can re-terminate. Now you will see at the back, the clip here has touched your shield and the drain wire and that completes your shield. Now you just need to move your boot forward, your strain and relief boot all the way up to the front. You take your cable tie that's in the packet. You will just slide it through and you will cable tie it. And then just cut it off. And there, your MPTL connector done. Easy steps. It's not difficult to terminate this connector. Watch out for more videos like this. If you have any queries or questions, you can contact your regional technical manager or the regional sales engineer. Or you can visit our website on www.molexce.com. Thank you.